There's little to be said about marital rape that hasn't been said already. Questions, justifications, considerations, all sound like feeble attempts to hide just how inherently patriarchal this law is. We don't need to tell you how bizarre it is to assume that women give enthusiastic and unwavering consent to sex the minute they get married. Because let's be honest, many times women aren't even consulted before they get married. Explaining this falls beyond the purview of common sense. We won't get into it. Today, we will be talking about Pulmoni Dasi, a 10-year-old child bride who lost her life due to marital rape at the hands of her 30-year-old husband. The story takes place in 1890, colonial India, when India was still being ruled by age-old British laws. Here's an interesting fact. The exception to the rape law, the clause on marital rape, was also introduced by the British in 1860. So I suppose more than 160 years on, we can say that we are still being governed by age-old British laws. But well, back to our story. Married to a man two decades older than her, the young bride died when her husband tried to consummate the marriage. The case went to litigation in Calcutta Sessions Court on 6th of July, 1890, and was registered as one of the most horrifying cases of marital rape. Facts of the case brought forth by the autopsy show that the young girl died due to trauma and excessive bleeding to her private parts and was found laying in a pool of her own blood. Her ovaries and uterus had not developed fully. She had not even begun menstruating yet. The victim's husband was convicted under the Indian Penal Code for causing grievous hurt by act of endangering life or personal safety of others, but not of rape. Why? Because as per the exception introduced to the IPC in 1860, sex with one's wife is not considered rape. At the time Pulmoni was assaulted, she was of legal age and wedded to her husband. The case even at the time shook the conscience of the nation and reform came in the form of raising the age of consent from 10 years to 12 in 1890. The exception now says that a man who has sex with his wife who is of 18 years of age is not rape. Pulmoni's case brings to light many important and dangerous facets of this exception. Perhaps the one most relevant to us today would be that the law is 162 years old. It was drafted at a time when young girls of 10 were considered old enough to give consent for sex, before their reproductory organs had even developed. If we can now see why such a law would be problematic, it's puzzling why we assume consent to be unwavering at all points in time. As per the UN Population Fund, nearly 75% of married women in India are subjected to violence by their husbands, compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic. 